welcome back to my walkthrough. Today I'm going to be starting Tales of Story from the very beginning. Woo! No! Disguise loading screens for the loss! Well, anyway, this basically covers what happens on Tales of Sight. See, all the stories kind of like tie together. And then it, it explains how the, how the whole story goes and All stuff like that. Go full speed ahead. Like, remember way in the beginning of Sonic's story, we seen Tails' plane crash? Well, let's see why that happened. Oh, uh, no! What's this? Look at his facial expression. No! Oh, no! Should have debugged it first. Fall off, don't ya? Oh no! <laughs> loading screen again? Why do you keep breaking up the action loading screens? I hate you so much. <sighs> and so the sun glares onto the camera. Oh, who is this? Oh! I guess Sonic picked me up right when I was uh, coming out of it, or something, I don't know. At uh, Emerald Coast, that's pretty nice of him. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Boy, you're lucky I saw you come down. Oh, indeed. Even though you kind of didn't provide any medical help whatsoever. That is true. Tails is like a bird, even though he's a fox. Yeah, it's just that I'm just getting a new prototype power supply, and it's not fully compatible yet. Ah, oh, poo birds. You can always borrow my plane, the tornado, if you want. Thanks, Sonic. But if I can make this work, it'll run circles around yours. Bragger. By the way, you'll also notice that the dialogue is different between storylines for, for some reason. I don't know why. I guess I wanted to mix it up a little bit, but it's basically the same. Alright. See, the dialogue was different there. By the way, let's go to the train station. Woo! Yeah, this way. If you remember how to get through here with Sonic's character, you should know how to get there. But I would like to check out something first. Uh, for some reason, I'm thinking there's something in here for Tails. Like in these sewers here. No, it's not here. Maybe I'm thinking of another character. But there's, th but there's something hidden over there later. I know there's something there, which I'll be checking later. But anyway, let's go to the... To the train station and fly our way up. And by fly, I mean press the jump button when you're in mid jump and you'll be able to fly very nicely. Oh, yeah, baby. And no! Loading! Why? Well, they, 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 the loading screens are definitely a lot shorter than they were in the Dreamcast version, but yeah, whatever. I still like to complain about loading screens just for the fun of it. You know, oh, by the way, I should also show you down here. I didn't show you this on Sonic Story, so I might as well do that now. Hey there, archaeologist, how's it going? Go into this cave right here. The camera's going to mess up, and uh, you're going to see some stuff here. What is this over here? Will we be here later? <gasps> yeah, we'll be here later. <laughs> I just like to uh, let you take note of that for a sec there. And there's actually something in there, actually, that I could have gotten with Sonic, I think. No, 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 I'm thinking of something else. Uh, it's actually someone else's story, excuse me. Well, anyway, now take this train. Well, not train, it, it's a minecart, and you'll appear in yet another chow garden. Yes, another chow garden. I already kind of explained these to you before, so, uh, yeah, as I said, I don't know very much about it. I'm just going to explore this area to show you uh, what's going on around here. And uh, behind this waterfall, uh, you can see that you'll just be able to go out right there, and yeah, you get the idea. That was pretty much all there was to the Chow Garden. Ah, camera, focus correctly on the Mystic Ruins. 
All right, we're back outside here. Station Square. So, yeah, there really wasn't soon. much to the child gardens, but there really isn't much to child garden, gardens to begin with, other than if you're raising chow, which I don't really do. I don't know why I took the long way around when I could just fly up, but what the heck. Well, well, well. If it isn't Sonic and Tails. Oh, poopers! Whoa! He's serious! Listen to that voice! It failed with Sonic. It's gonna fail with Tails. But I, I just may have uh, talked about a space-time continuum in the storyline or something. I mean, uh, this kind of looks familiar, doesn't it? I mean, didn't I just do this boss with Sonic, like, in Part 2 or something like that? Yeah, the Egg Hornet. But, yeah, Sonic was the one that took care of this boss before, so... What the poop? God, this is, this is what I kind of find funny about the branch storyline thing, is that... You have to face the same bosses with different characters sometimes, and that doesn't really fit in with the story. I mean, each character is supposed to have their own story and stuff like that. You know, their, their own thing. But, I mean, Sonic was really the one that faced this boss before. And, well, you get the idea. <laughs> so, it's basically the same as Sonic's Egg Hornet. No problem whatsoever. Um, Tails has got this, uh, um, he's got this thing where you can swing his body around. Uh, uh, get the, yeah, it's like that, but uh, it doesn't last very long, so you have to do it when you're, like, right next to the enemy, if you want to hit an enemy on the ground like that, or just roll into him like that. Uh, so Tails doesn't have a spin dash like Sonic, but he does have a roll attack, which is another way to take on the Egg Hornet. Um, supposedly, you're also able to multi-attack with Sonic. Uh, someone mentioned that you're just able to keep attacking the Egg Hornet. And you, you could just get rid of him in one run without having to wait for him to do that spiky charge attack from his front like that. But I thought that he had, like, a shield protecting him or something like that. But I guess it disappears when he hits the ground. So I guess that's another alternative if you want to beat him with Sonic. But otherwise, it's basically the same beating him as Tails. And that takes care of the Egg Hornet. Yeah, that was kind of sad if you ask me. Uh, see, so see, Sonic beat the Egg Hornet on his side of the story, and so did Tails, so that doesn't make much sense, now does it? No, 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 no. And now watch how this cutscene unfolds. That was just too easy! Oh no, why would you bring out those emeralds? Why did you whip them out? Ah! Actually, it's just one emerald, but you know, you know what I mean. Ah, poopers! And it floats in his hand amazingly. What? Yeah, Tails hasn't met him before. Who is he? What? Chaos is the two chaos one, yeah, whatever. You've seen this happen before in the Sonic storyline. It's nothing special. Well, it only it is kind of special because this is a good game and all. But you know we've seen it before, so besides the dialogue change and everything like that. Oh no, not rubble! Ugh. Why don't you build Robotnik land on some unused land or something like that? Why do you have to demolish the city? There's property you can buy! We can't let that monster get any bigger. It could get ugly. That is true. But evidently Chaos 6 isn't very powerful. Alright, now we're going to Wind Valley. 
We need to get that uh, key, ah, keystone thingy from here. You remember where this thing goes, don't you? Well, yeah, it's the windstone. So we're just going to go all the way over here. And uh, yeah, there's a cave. It's opened up. Who would have guessed that it's opened up? Oh, I would have. So I'll just flop that down. Oh, it's floating. What's going to happen? Yeah, I'll just jump in here right away. <laughs> this is stage one for Tails. Windy Valley. Um... Tales of Stages are quite a bit different than Sonic's. Well, well, not exactly quite a bit different. I mean, you're, you play, like, further up in the stage than in Sonic stages, but what you are doing is that you're racing Sonic. Like, you see that at the bottom of the screen, you'll see how far ahead you are from Sonic or if so, so and so far behind Sonic, uh, depending on if you're losing or not. If you play through Sonic stages... Uh, you would have to be a monkey to lose so to Sonic because the stages are basically the same. And you can even take shortcuts through like those aerial paths like I'm just going to do here just by flying through these things. Woo! Isn't that amazing? Yeah, stuff like that that you can use to shortcut. Just look how far ahead I'm, uh, I am ahead of Sonic already. I mean, jeez. Holy pooper. So I'll hit the spring and the other spring and you're springing all around and uh, yeah. We've been through this path before, you know this path. I don't even need to hit that checkpoint. I feel confident in my skills. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to take this little shortcut here and these little boosts over here. Oh, and I would like to address something while I'm basically playing the stage again. Uh, people have been saying that I really need a capture card or something for my quality. Whoa, whoops. But for some reason, Tails didn't stick to the wall or something. That was kind of weird. Um, anyway, people have been saying that I need a capture card because the quality of the, my parts have been pretty bad. But uh, that was actually one of the reasons why I didn't want to do this game at first was because of the quality. Because uh, I knew it would be kind of hard to do with the camera. But, uh, but I'm just doing this walkthrough for fun anyway. So I thought, eh, what the heck, I'll do it anyway. But, but the thing is, that if you, I were to get a capture card and the whole setup, that, that would be required. Like, I would, I would need a laptop to take into this room. I play games in, um, because the computer that we use is a shared computer, so uh, it's it's not something that I can actually take along with me, because the, the computer that I use to upload videos and edit them and stuff like that is not in this room, it's, it's a shared one, it's in a, it's actually on a completely different floor, and yeah, so I would have to get, like, another computer like a laptop along with a capture card just so I could take up here so a laptop would be the best the best bet because I could just like put it right next to the TV um, it's not really ideal obviously to lug around the whole computer all over the place every time I would want to do some videos that's why I've always always used the camera up to this point uh, so obviously it's a lot cheaper as well like this camera costed about uh, seventy dollars I think, but a whole capture card set up plus a laptop would cost around $700 or so. And uh, I guess we're going to the casino next, so I'm just going to go down there. And uh, so, yeah, there's your explanation. So, sorry for the lack of quality. You can still see how uh, things are going, but yeah, I know it's not the best, but as I said, the camera cannot do dark scenes well. I guess people thought I was lying about that or something when I replied to them and said that that the camera can't do uh, dark scenes very well. Well, anyway, that's enough uh, time. I should say that's all the time I have for this part, so I'll see you guys in the next part. I hope you guys enjoyed.